Hey folks, welcome to my channel, um, Electronics Plus. My name is Marvin. Um, I sell anything that you can plug in, whether it runs by batteries, plus item, other items as well. So this morning, I'm getting ready to pull orders. Um, just getting off restriction, actually. Three day restriction. I've been on restriction a couple other times. I have got up to a seven day restriction and stuff like that. These are items I got restrictions on, mostly related to Amazon returns that I buy at the bins. And so it's like a learning process. Um, certain things I don't, you know, of course, post no more or buy no more and stuff like that that I got restrictions on. And so I got restrictions here on a book um, by the International Code ICC. Um, I forgot what the other, IC, the C, other C stands for, but it was a copyright, I guess, infringement, whatever, or um, distributing that book without their permission or something like that. So I got a three-day restriction for that. And stuff like that so I know I put that added to my list of, of items not to buy no more from the bins I don't get all my items from the bins I get a lot of items from thrift stores and stuff like that so I'm having to be up restriction regardless I got items to post and everything so I'm gonna get right into that and show you what orders I got to post for this morning ain't got that many going out and stuff like that this morning I'm actually running a sale 10% off sale so I run anywhere from 10 to 15% off usually 10 or 15 I'm doing a 10% sale. I'm going to just run it for a few days and so forth like that. And just to get my orders generated. And so that Tuesday, my payout will be good. And so but I think they sent over like a couple hundred dollars this morning. That will be going over towards the amount from the weekend. That will be that Tuesday morning for my payout. Okay, so I'm ready to get these orders together. I only got five orders going out. Uh, you can see I got four, re four return requests. Um, I get returns. Uh, not super often. Um, I usually ship out over 300 items a month. And so out of 300, I might get around, um, you know, five. It depends. Some months I get more. Some months I, I hardly get none and stuff like that. So I think this month I've uh, been a little busy in returns and so forth. For various reasons. Either the buyer brought the wrong item. Um, not necessarily anything due to my fault. I don't think I got returns on and stuff like that. So I got returned here recently actually with a, the individual. Let me show you real quick. Um, yeah, this was on some ink cartridges right here. These ink cartridges are down at the bottom. The individual uh, opened one and said that they didn't fit. So they opened the, the big pack right there and they said that they didn't fit and everything. And they sent it back open, which was new and everything sealed. And so when I got it back, I think as long as you're a top-rated seller or you have free shipping or free returns, one or the other, eBay allows you to deduct up to 50% of the uh, sale price of the items and stuff like that. So that's what I did on that. I, don't have to, I did it only did that second time doing that to a buyer and so forth because they opened up a new item and sent it back. And so I was able to do that and everything. And I got golf clubs here, kid golf club set. Uh, the, the buyer just said that they thought it was, it was, they didn't know it was left-handed. But it says in the title, says in the description, and everything like that. No problem returning back as long as everything is cool and everything. They might have played with them or need, needed them for a tournament or something like that and just rented them, basically. And that happens. And the only thing about it, I have free returns. So uh, that's, that's just the nature of the beast with that and stuff like that. So, And then I got um, this right here. This is didn't work. I brought it from the Benz TED Energy Detective. And so it just didn't work and everything. So the buyers returned it. I have no problem with that because it was open box and everything like that. So it could be. The other item up top right here, this transfer switch for portable generators. The buyer that said that, uh, that his electrician said that it wouldn't work for him and so forth. And so he said he didn't even open the box, shipping box. So he got to send that back and everything. So no problem with that. But let me go on and get these orders here. I got five orders going out. Uh, let me see. One's out here and so forth like that. Okay. And so, yeah. Let me go and get them. And so these right here, uh, let me see. The ones right here is breathing exercise for lungs. Uh, that's these right here. I have, I got a whole crate of these. Um, in fact, let me kind of show you what I got left. That's why I got left of them and everything. And I got these from the bins. And I've been selling them like crazy. People have been buying them in quantities. They've been shipping to the national and everything with no problems and stuff like that. So, 
that's pretty cool. I saw one of them. I saw them for nineteen ninety nine. If you buy more, you get a, a you know, discount and stuff like that on them. These filters right here, I got them from the bands. They come three in a box. And um, a regular price, I sell them for, they, they, I think this was a, either on sale or they sent me an offer. Or I might have sent out an offer. I don't know. But they got this one, they got one box for $22.50. And as you can see, this other person, they, yeah, $29.95 is a regular price. So I paid a dollar for these. And again, I've been selling them pretty good. And again, I have, uh, well, the two that's going out. And then I have some right here that's still left. I got about six left and stuff like that. So whenever you can get items in quantities like that, and um, you, at a very good cheap price, get them and stuff like that. And because um, you can, they'll sell over time. And some items sell real quick. And it's very good money and stuff like that. Easy. You post one time. And you put the amount that you got. In fact, from Salvation Army, I got a lot of good deals like that on items. Uh, where I brought cases of items. And for like less than a dollar each. For the items in the case. And make good money over time with them and so forth. So anyhow, they got them too. And then, this other item I got from the Salvation Army. Um, let's see. Let me see. Down here. The Nerf. This is like a cartridge for the Nerf Dots. I got another one down there. I paid $7 a piece for them and sold this for, I think I sent out an offer on that uh, for like 30 bucks and stuff like that. So, that's not bad. Easy to ship. Light. Probably for, be first class actually and stuff like that. So, that's pretty much it. And then this other item, that's in my office on the top shelf. I paid $4 for it. I've been having it for a little while. Not super long. But I, uh, I lowered the price down over time and everything. And so I left that at $59.95, so that's what it sold for. Okay, let me get these orders out. This item right here weighs six pounds. This is a box of um, tubes of hand medic professional skin conditioner and stuff like that. And so this is one I was showing you in the video, previous one that um, took me a little while to sell it. Not real long, maybe a few months, a couple months, something like that. But um, regional B box is what I'm gonna ship it in because it's cheaper to ship it this way. $14 regular priority mail and it's like $12.88 to ship it. It'll fit in this box. It won't fit in the regional A box. It'll fit in the regional B box. And so that's the good thing about regional. Even though I think that I heard they're supposed to be cutting them out or whatever. But they haven't yet. So I continue to use them until they do. I put a little brown paper in there. Fill the board. And now it'll be good to go. Yeah. So I'll get my, tie it get my packages out of here. And I'll be done for the weekend on shipping our packages. Alright. Bag I usually use on a several of them. Every time I have three of them going up to the post office, I use it for my post office packages. And I do ship um, a lot of UPS and FedEx. Uh, FedEx don't lower their rates. Uh, they try to compete against UPS. And I used to do mostly FedEx and the UPS uh, started out beating them in their prices. And so now FedEx prices are getting lower again. So that's great. So it's good to have competition. Got my Kia bag ready. This is all I got going out for Saturday morning. And so, got all that done, folks, and everything like that. I'm gonna get that done, get back, and post. Um, as you can see, I got items in my office here that I need to post. I got items in the garage that I need to post. I usually don't end up with a death pile or nothing like that. Um, most of the items I get, I try to hit and post them. And something I get, like right now, I'm kind of backlogging, getting my posting done. 
just kind of just didn't feel like posting yesterday, so I didn't post nothing. All right. I'm going to get out of here, head to the post office to get these packages out of here. I try to get my packages out as soon as possible. I just took an off on another item, but I'm gonna wait and let that go out um, Monday morning with the orders going out thin and so forth. So and get these few packages I got up out of here for the day. Oh man, it's chilly here. It's about like 35 degrees, but the same token, uh, the sun is out, nice and shiny and everything like that. So I like that. Yeah, it's important. My feedback attests to the fact that I like to get my packages out of here. Um, not only get them out fast, but pack them well and stuff like that and everything. I got great feedback in the area. Super fast shipping. You see the up and down on my feedback um, feed and everything. And so that's one thing I, I got um, return customers. Items I got multiples of. I got customers to come back and um, buy. Um, pretty much buy me up out of them and so forth. And they could be resellers and everything, because um, I do accept offers on a lot of items. As long as this is a decent, fair offer and so forth. Like I know I got into it. Uh, so I do free shipping. I got to calculate that into the item and everything as well. But, yeah, it's great. Yeah, I do not like this car right here. This is Mercedes. Um, this is the 2008. E350 formatic front wheel drive sports edition. I got this on a whim. I mean, I just like my wife had wrecked her. I had wrecked my LS430 I had, which is a car I really, really liked. They're gonna give me another one. That car was great. It was a 2001 LS430, super comfortable, great acceleration. Um, just a great driving car. Um, and I did a lot of eBay and um. In that car, you know that that's my that's my work car, and stuff like that. But this Mercedes right here, I had one Mercedes before. My first import was a Mercedes. It was a, a old school 1997 C230, um, and um, I had that car. And um, then of course I uh, once I got over to Lexus, you know we had several Lexuses and stuff like that. And I just love every Lexus I had. I pretty much liked a lot. The LS430. Definitely getting me another one and so forth. My wife had an RX 350. She had a real nice, I think it was 2014, very low mileage when she got it. And she got into a wrecking and got total. So the, I took the money from that because I had paid like half of it off when I brought it for her. And so I took the money from that, that accident, accident claim, which was like 13000 and I just paid for this cash. And it, it was low mileage on this when I got it. It was like 80,000 miles, 79,000 miles. But I can't, I don't like to drive with it. Uh, it looks nice and all that kind of stuff, but I do not like to drive with it. I guess maybe because of the sports edition, whatever, I don't know. But I do not like to drive with it and everything like that. Um, I have some things, that have, I just put brand new tires on it. That was like 900 and something dollars. Uh, and then the brakes, I had both the front and back brakes done and so forth like that. What's the stuff that wear and tear, you know, that happens. But the, now I got to replace the front axle because it's a front wheel drive and the rubber boot on the axle is, I guess, torn or whatever. And so you can't, I think it's bypassed the point of just replacing the boot. And so I'm going to replace both axles. I already ordered them off eBay. And I didn't, I didn't get the old OEM. I didn't get the original <laughs> parts because that's a crazy amount of money for that. And so I'm going to get them put on everything like that and so forth. And, um, man, get that fixed. And then it's the only issue I got right now with this car. So, yeah, I get that done and everything like that. I'm going to hold on to this for as long as I can and everything since it's paid for. And I'm going to get my wife. I'm going to get her another RX 350 first. And then I'm going to get my LS430. Right, I'm at the post office, and we're going to here and run these packages in. Alright, 
Alright folks, got the packages out, head back to the house, be in for the rest of the day pretty much. Um, I'm going to post, get my site um, packed out for the weekend and stuff like that with new items. Everything else is on sale, let that do its course for a few days, and that way Tuesday, like I said earlier, I give me a good payout. That's what I always try to do, we try to make that first payout of the week be a nice, handsome payout. And stuff like that, and then get paid out. I get paid out every day. Um, nah, back up. I think yesterday I did not get one because the day before that, I don't think I got got because they put a restriction and everything. So really, my sales go down. You can still sell stuff when you're on restriction. It's just that it's stuff that people haven't watched already, pretty much. Um, that that sells and everything. So I even got offers on restriction. I sold stuff on restriction, not that much, but I did sell some items and everything. So I'm gonna get this day going in that area as far as posting everything hope y'all enjoyed this video if you did um, hey hit the like uh, subscribe so you can uh, i'm gonna try to put out a bunch of more content because i think every uh full-time reseller has something of value to offer and so forth and it's good to see a variety of youtubers that do ebay and that resell and stuff like that so um consider yourself if you're not doing it start creating content and stuff like that and build you up a channel. It's like all the other B-Sales are doing and so forth. So that's what I'm striving to do and everything. Been at this game for a long time. Over 10 years reselling. And so I think I got a few um, things that I'm not the, sh the sharpest knife in the draw. But I think I got a few things I can offer. Alright folks. Talk to y'all later. Um, this is uh, Electronics Plus. My man. Alright.